If you're interested, we encourage you to experiment, but ballistic ping pong balls are hazardous and potentially lethal. If you think your clothes are enough to protect you, here's what a ping pong ball did to a leather glove. This is our second ping pong launching video. Our first one was vacuum only. In this one, we've added a pressure chamber to the beginning of the, before the launch tube. This pressure chamber is schedule 80 CPVC, so the high temperature PVC, wrapped with half inch nylon rope, which you can't see because it's all inside a space blanket to keep it warm, given that it's not summer anymore. The rest of it is similar to what we showed in our vacuum only video. The ping pong ball sits here. We have a membrane to hold the vacuum at this end. And then the 10 foot, three meter long launch tube. And a vacuum chamber here, which gives a place for the air that leaks by the ping pong ball to go so it doesn't build up back pressure against the ball. After the ball leaves the other vacuum membrane here, that holds this in, it punctures through that membrane and then goes through these two light beams that are 100 millimeters apart and then this time our target is 7 16 or 11 millimeter thick plywood. So we'll see how a ping pong ball does against plywood. So we've been pumping down the launch tube, so it has a pretty good vacuum at this point. We haven't put pressure in the pressure chamber yet. Now at the end of the pressure chamber, we have a thicker membrane. This is 2 mil mylar with a layer of packing tape. And the packing tape is taping on a trigger wire that goes across that uh, membrane. Mm -hmm. When we run electricity through the wire, that will melt the membrane and launch it after we've added the pressure. So I think we're about ready to go here. We will start adding pressure to this pressure chamber. There's the gauge, we're at 20 psi. Now this is pressure relative to atmosphere, so there's another 15 psi compared to the vacuum in the launch tube. So there we are up at 60. About 70 psi. And go up to about 90 and then we'll melt the membrane. Now we get a little more than 90, 93 or so. We'll come down here and well it fell down to the ground but <laughs> there's the plywood. There's the entry side with a nice clean hole and the exit side that doesn't look as clean and some of the debris. And then we'll go down here and look at the scope trays and see what we got, Let's see 175.9, so about 176 microseconds and 177 and a half, and then an extra piece of debris going through the interrupter at the end, because these pulses are the shadows that the ball made going through. So the average of the lead edge and trail edge is about 100 and, well, we'll just call it 176 point um, seven. So we will calculate the speed here. Because it's a hundred, well, point one meters divided by one seventy six point seven microseconds, and that's five hundred and sixty six meters per second. And so that's actually a new record that that's the fastest we've hit using air pressure to launch because we went a little higher in pressure than we've done before. So this will be hopefully our record setting ping pong launch going through 7 16th inch or 11 millimeter plywood. Thank you for watching.